Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. Not long ago, I did a video about the new firmware update of DaVinci Resolve 16.2, and I had a look at some of the different new features. And in today's video, we are going to have a look at how to use the Fusion Transitions. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let's uh, start by going up to the effects library and go to the transitions, the video transitions. And down here we have the fusion transitions. And uh, when we save them, they'll be in our user. So let's just uh, start with um, a slight push. And um, as you see, we have this right here now. And uh, it is super easy to customize these just by selecting the transition. We can go up in the inspector and we can change the things we want. So in this case, I'm going to make less slides and uh, I can also push the angle a bit and let's give some shadow to our slices. And then we can either make them uh, very noticeable the shadow and softness or we can make it a more soft and um, we do that super easy so now we have a customized transition like so and uh, it is really super easy to use and it's super easy to customize if we right click on our clip we can go down here to the create a transition preset and then we can just rename our preset I'll call this um, slight push maybe we will call it force slight push and I'll push OK and it will be now at our user library so we can just erase it and uh, drag it right in from there if we need it like so very easy so another thing we can do as well is let's um, Take the noise dissolve, drag that on as well. Uh, one thing we can do, we can also, of course, do the same changes in the inspector, but if we right click um, right here and uh, go to the open infusion page, will then be transformed into fusion. And I'm going to put down the inspector. I'm going to remove the key frames and this is basically our transition and we can of course modify this as well okay we have a media one and a media two and then we have a transition in a group and then we have of course a media out and then we can change the things inside of the inspector as usually so if we just double tap on our note as you see right let's take the fast noise we can then change the things around like we want i'll just uh, move a bit in time here so i can see what i'm doing and then we can just change the things around and you can really customize this really um i, I would say the possibilities are endless but you can do whatever you want inside of these parameters uh, let's say something like this and uh, let's go to the color here and let's uh, for instance change up some of the colors and then let's go to the dissolve and for instance we can uh, we can Let's change the this to a gradient wipe and we can give it a border and uh, we can change the softness of the border. So it becomes very 80s or <laughs> a little different. Uh, okay, we can change the softness, of course, of our thing here as well. And then let's uh, background foreground, let's change that. Not change that too much and then let's just um, give it a different color for instance let's uh, take this and just make it uh, red like so say okay and now we have uh, red colors in our transitions 
And then if you want to save this out, of course, let's close down the inspector. You can go out here and uh, right click and then just save as. And then you can save it at this thing in your uh, database or in your computer. And um, it's just to push save. I'll just change the name to red noise thing here and um, then I'll just push save and it's that safe. If you don't want to do it that way, of course, you can also just go back to the editing tab and uh, then, of course, you can do the same thing. Right click and just create a transition preset and then we can just rename our preset here. Let's call this red noise and OK. And now it's right there again and we can just Either we can just delete that and then just drag it in here and then we have our transition. So anyway, this was just a quick look at how to do that. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.